Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Engineering Network and also welcome to a new video of ETH 2016 tutorial. In this particular training program, up till now we have learned about how to define your own grid data, how to define material properties and section properties for different structure members. Also we have learned about how to assign column, beam, slab and share wall. In this particular video, I will be showing you how to insert more stories to the model and also we will model staircase as well. So before we start this very important video, I have a request. If you are new here and haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please subscribe and also click on this small bell icon so that you will get notified when I publish a new video. So without wasting your time, let's get started. Ok, so let's first add some stories to my model. So for that go to edit then click on edit stories and grid system and in this video as you can see here that I have only ground floor and then the first floor level and this first floor level is basically not a story. It is that level or height where the ground floor will end. So basically our model is of one story and now to add more story I have to click on modify show story data. Ok so in this window as you can see the list of the stories. Now I want to add more story right above this one. Ok so for that I will simply right click here then select add story and there click on the first option which says keep existing story height. Now if you remember the height of the ground floor which is 10 feet. So I want that each story of my model should be 10 feet as well. So for that here in story height type 10 and the unit here is by default feet. Then I want to add another 5 stories. Ok so here in number of added stories box type 5. Next is I want these 5 stories to be above the first floor level. So here in new story location select first floor level and in replicate new story box select first floor level as well. So after all these arrangements click on OK. And as you can see now 5 stories have been added to my model. Now I have to change the names for these stories. So here now the first floor level will become first story. Then story 1 will be second story. Then story 2 will be third story. Then story 3 will be fourth story. Then story 4 will be 5th story and last story 5 will be the roof of our building and then click on ok and again ok. So as you can see in 3D view I have now 5 stories. Now go to plan and as you can see I have staircase here. So to provide this staircase I will add another story for this staircase room. And for that I have to go to edit and then again click on edit story and grid system and then modify show grid system. So to add another story right click here and then add story and again click on the first option. Here the story height should be 6 feet and the number of new stories is 1 and then click ok. Here change its name to staircase room then ok and again ok now click on plan and select staircase room and apply and ok now I am on the top of staircase room now as you know for staircase I only need this one slab because if you look at the plan the staircase is only provided here so it's obvious that I will provide only this one slab so for that I am going to delete all these panels, beams, columns, everything. But before that make sure that here you have select only one story. Now select this portion and this portion and this portion and then press delete button. And you will see that all these slaves have been removed. And now I have only this one slave for the staircase room. Now click on this small icon which says set display option and here check these options and then ok. And as you can see this is the complete version of our model. 
and let's take a look to its rendered view. So for that click on view and then click on the second last option see rendered view and wait for a few seconds. As you can see our model will look like this. So this is the ground floor and this is the first story. It is the second story and this is the third story. This is the fourth one and this is the fifth story and this is our roof. But here you will notice one thing that there is no opening for the staircase. So to provide that opening I have to click on plan and then select fifth story. Here as you already know that this is the place where I will provide my staircase. So I will select this slab and delete it. Go one story down by clicking on this drop down arrow icon. And here select this slab and delete it. Similarly delete all these slabs on each floor so that we can provide our staircase here. Ok. So after providing the openings it's time to model the staircase. Now to model the staircase let's first take a look to its cross section. Here as you can see that the first flight of the staircase is divided into three different parts. First one is the bottom landing which have a width of 3 feet. Second one is the flight argo which consists of waist slab and the steps that are assigned on them. In the case of steps the dimension of the rise and thread are 4 inch and 6 inches respectively. And the last part is the mid landing which is above 5 feet from the roof level and having a span of 3 feet. Here in the case of only flight argo we only model waist slab and these steps are going to be assigned as dead load. Now go to e tabs and start modeling it. So here I have already finished modeling a small residential building of 5 stories. Ok so this is the area where I am going to assign my staircase. So our objective is to model staircase from the ground floor to the roof. Ok so the first step in modeling staircase is to assign a ground floor beam at the ground floor from where the first flight of the stair will originate. So for that click on plan and select ground floor and then ok. And let's get rid of this extruded view. Ok so here I need to assign ground floor beam which is 3 feet away from this beam. So click on this icon and here select the ground floor beam property. And I have already defined the beam for the ground floor and here it is. Then I want to make offset for this beam which is 3 feet away from the plane beam. So here as you can see the unit is in inches so first I will convert 3 feet to inches which is equal to 36 inches right. So here type 36 and then close this window. Now click on this point and then here on this point. As you can see I have obtained a ground floor beam which is 3 feet away from this beam. Ok so the next step is to define a beam between the ground floor and the first floor level which should be at 5 feet height because the height of each story is 10 feet. For that I have to divide this shear wall into two equal parts. Ok so click on elevation and here select B which passes through the staircase. So as you can see I have to provide a beam right here at the middle of this stair wall between the ground floor and the first story where I will provide a mid landing slab and beam. And for that I will select the stair wall then go to edit then select edit shells and then click on divide shell. So here I am going to select the third option which is divide quadrilateral triangles into and I want to divide this wall in horizontal direction. So here I will type 2 and here 1 and then ok. As you can see now the wall has been divided into two equal parts. Now this point right here should be at 5 feet height and here I will provide a beam for mid landing. Next is go to 3D view. Now here I want to assign a beam for the mid landing. For that click on this icon then select the property which is MLB 12 by 12. Then click on this giant and then on this giant. As you can see now that the mid landing beam has been assigned here. Ok next is we have to provide the mid landing slab. And for that first I have to assign another beam adjacent to this one which must be 3 feet away from this beam. So click on this icon again. Select the property. Then type the offset distance in inches which is 36. 
and then close the window. So click on this point first and then in this point. As you can see now that another beam right here has been assigned. Now I will assign a mid landing slave. So for that click on this icon, select the property which is MLS4, then close this window. So click on this point, then here, then click here, and then here, and then right click. And as you can see the mid landing slave has been assigned. So after assigning the mid landing slab, I want to replicate this ground floor beam to the first story level because this staircase will move upward in the same manner. So select this beam and then go to edit and then replicate and here click on story and select the first story and then ok and again ok. As you can see now the beam has been replicated to the first story level. Next step is to divide these beams at the midpoint because I want to connect the waste slab with the bottom beam and also to the top beam. So I will select the beam at the first floor level, the beam of the mid landing and also select the ground floor beam. And then go to edit and then select edit frame and there click on divide frame. Here I will select the first option which is divide into and it is by default 2 which means that if I click ok here it will divide the selected members into two equal parts and that is what I want so click ok and as you can see these beams have been divided into two equal parts separately next is I want to draw a slab that is going to connect the mid landing with the ground floor beam so for that click on this icon here here select the property of this slave which is MLS4 and then close this window. Now you have to be accurate here because all these lines are almost at the same position so you have to look for the correct line. So here first click on this point, then this point, then this one and last at this point and then right click and you will see that the first stair flight is ready now. Next is I will connect the mid landing slab to the first floor level beam. So for that again click on this icon and select the property which is MLS4 and then close it. So now first start with this point and then click on this point and then here at the mid point of this beam and last click on this point and then right click. So the two flights of the stair is now ready which is connecting the mid landing slab. So after connecting the slaves we can now delete this beam because this beam is not actually present in our plan. So select this beam and delete it. Now click on the plan and select first story and then ok. So here I am going to assign a slab. So for that click on this icon here then select the property which is S5 and then close it. So to draw a slab here, click here and hold it and drag it to the other corner and then leave the hold and your slab will be drawn. As you can see that the staircase modeling for the ground floor has been done. So this is how you can model the staircase in ETH 2016. We will replicate this staircase to the other stories after the assigning of loads. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you would like it, if yes then please click on the like button, share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please click on the subscribe button and also don't forget to click on this small bell icon because it will help you get notified on time when I publish a new video. So goodbye, see you in next video.